tell me what to say. It's like a hair blanket. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nibbage. Serious Nibbage. With S. Beery Brown. And Gourmet Pens. That's her. That's me. And today we'll be talking about a very fascinating pen. And to be honest, one of my favorite pens of all time. And this pen was a gift from Professor John from London. And um, we are talking about, of course, the Yardalette Viceroy Grand in Victorian finish. Mm-hmm. What were your first impressions of the pen? No, 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 this is your pen. So you okay. go first. Well, I don't have the box at hand, but it comes in a very nice black wooden box with velvet lining, uh, silver polishing cloth, and, you know, probably some guarantee slip, but I think that's it. And there was no bottle of ink with it. Uh, that's, that's what you get with it. And I think it's a very nice packaging. I also have a... Uh, a retro grand that comes in a similar box, very very nice, and I really love the silver polishing cloth because everything you see here that looks like it's silver is silver, You're gonna sterling need it. silver. Yeah, you will actually need it, especially if you put in some leather pouches. You can actually get some tarnish on it, and even just from using it. So you actually have to polish it relatively well. My first impressions, therefore, were I'll talk about writing experience in a sec. But my first impressions were very nicely put together packaging, very nice, and, um, well, a gorgeous pen. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the finish up close. There are a couple of finishes for this pen. This is a Victorian finish. I think this is by far the prettiest. Very, very nice. Here you have all the, uh, the silver hallmarks, um, and there you have the nibbage, just so that we have everything covered. So, that's my first impressions. Yeah. What about yours? Well, I'm quite vain. I nearly stuck it up your nose. I'm sorry. That uh, would probably tarnish it. Uh, I'm quite hmm. vain, and um, I usually I'm not really drawn to silver pens, like with the the filigree type things, which I think are yeah. well made, and I'm I admire the craftsmanship, but I'm not usually personally attracted to them. But I was quite surprised by this one. Um, it is a interesting finish it's not floral so i mean at first glance it i thought it was floral and i was like that's odd but it's not it's um it, it's hard to describe but you know you did show it so that kind of helps um which so i was i was pleased about that it's almost a bit spencerian with the, the there's a lot of flourishes yeah. yeah and i like that and so that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And when you hold it, it's a very, it's a it's a solid pen. Well, as the, the I I held this one in London when I was there, and I bought my my retro, and the, the shop clerk actually said, "You can feel the weight of the silver," and that's actually exactly silver. what it's what it, it sounded like Lord Windermere. But in any yeah. case, you can feel it. It's about sixty grams, I think. It's heavy. And the thing is, it doesn't feel like. There's any wasted space no. on the pen. It's tightly made. It's well put together. So, and it's just it feels really good. And then the nib is very very delectable. I really like the design of the nib, which you did show, right? So, yes, I did. um, I was, I so I was surprised that I was so attracted to it, but I really enjoy the design and the shape. For example, the the cap is really well made. I mean, it's it's thin, but not really really thin, and it just slides on so nicely. It just click perfectly. It's so satisfying, and it's small things like that. that <laughs> I have things for like audio sounds that really excite me. Audio sounds, as it, opposed to visual sounds. God, it's uh, it left such a pleasant. Uh, I'm on here. Feeling for that, uh, this isn't sounding right. Well, you like a big pen in your hands. It was a very pleasant first impression. Oh. Uh, it's really nicely put together, and I was surprised because I have some expensive pens, but the the way that this one is made and its finish really makes you think, "Wow, that is a that's a." elegant 
expensive pen. I mean, not that you buy a pen because it's expensive, but it well, does. Some people do. Uh, it also has a, a mirror, a, a, a finial that's like a spoon, you know, when you make spoon faces into your, I mean, mirror faces into your spoon when you're like eating your cereal. There anyway. is no spoon. Um, what makes it special? Wow. Well, I'm not entirely certain. Well, I am certain. I think this is the flagship pen of okay. Yardlead. So I think that is, that itself makes it special and they, I am fairly certain they have another model that is also all silver. I'm forgetting the name. I don't know if it's the Astoria. In any case, the I mean, my retro is not. It has a it has silver bits, but it has a plastic uh, barrel or at least a cover on the barrel. Whereas this is all silver. Um, so I think that's one of the uh, things that makes it very special. Um, and again, I think it's the flagship pen. So that I guess that's that's what makes it special. What was your writing experience like? Oh, I'll beat your pen. Do you want to? Sure, I'll go yeah. um, I was extremely pleasantly surprised. It has a broad nib, which I like. And that was the first time I used one on my retro grant. I have a medium because that's all I had in store at that point. You um, had contacted them about this nib too, right? Yes, I have. There was some confusion in the store. I bought it. They said it's silver. Everything is silver. Your, your nib, right? Yes, my nib. And everything that you see that looks like silver is silver, but I never heard of silver nib. So I contacted Yardlet, and actually the CEO of Yardlet emailed me back, which I thought is, is very nice that they actually take the time to do that. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, 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 because it says 18 karat on it. And mm -hmm. I thought, 18 karat silver, that's that's never going to work for a nib. And he said, no, no, it's 18 karat solid gold, but we coat it with nickel. It's nickel plated, not rhodium plated, but nickel plated, and that matches the silver color of the, you know, the trimmings of the pen very well. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, as to the, the nib, it performs flawlessly. It's a beautiful broad, not so broad that it can't be used. A true broad, nice, wet, juicy, excellent flow. I've had, I've never had this nib skip. Uh, it always works. Variety of inks, various it uh, sings. papers. It sings when you write. Beautifully, well adjusted, fantastic nib. And that sums up my writing experience. What about yours? Well, that sounds about right for me too. Yeah. It's um, it's a really, really pleasant broad nib. Um, very smooth. Very good flow. I mean, it's it doesn't gush ink. So, like you said, you know, you can use it for daily. You can use it on cheaper paper, for example, without having it feather like crazy. I think. Yeah, it's it's very pleasant. Um, and it's so nice and the weight of the pen it's not so heavy that it's not possible to use but just like this by the way it's just like perfectly balanced but anyway side note the weight of the pen that goes onto the nib is just the right amount of weight to get it to write so yeah. it's it's lovely it's a lovely nib and yeah, yes, it is a round broad nib. It's not some crazy cool grind or something, but it's very wonderful. It's very nice. There's no you. feedback. There's no skipping. No, it's very smooth. This is really a very pleasantly smooth nib. Super nice. I love it. I really enjoyed writing with it. Is there anything you love about it? Well, I love this. Okay. Um, I like the the vintage styling of the clip. Yeah, I'll show you that close up a bit. It's um it kinda starts lower down on there on the cap. Like these sort of rivets. I don't know if they're yeah, they yeah, must be actual that, rivets. Yeah, it's really it's really cool. Notice the numbering too. I don't it's not a limited edition, but I think you ought to let numbers all their pens. Very, very nice. Sorry, it's a really nice appearance. And it's not it doesn't stick out really far from the no. pen, so it's a very streamlined appearance of the it's pen. It's natural. Yeah. Um I really, really enjoy the section. It is also silver, but it's not slippery, even if you get, you know, sweaty or, you know, weird, you know whatever. Um, the weight of the pen is very comfortable. Like I said, just like this, it's not too long. It's not too girthy. It's perfectly balanced in my head. It's crazy. I... I just enjoy just holding it like this and not even writing with it because it just feels good. That's maybe weird. 
No, she Ooh. likes holding it in her hands because it feels good. We believe you. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, what I also really enjoy is the silver warms up in your hand. So it just... You, you like it when it's large in your hand and it warms up. We're going to have to give parental ratings. Yes, thank you. You just actually... Uh, yeah, oh no. Yeah, I drew on you, but there's nothing there. Um, the the feeling of as you pick up the, the pen from and it's cold or cooler, and then you start writing with it and it warms up in your hand, it's, it's a very rewarding, tactile feeling. Does that make sense? You're only making this worse. I'm like, why? It's basic, so it's it's kind of like it's a, really nice. It's, it's kind of like a reptile. It's kind of cold blooded. So it kind of adopts, you know, the temperature. The... It's really pleasant. And if you haven't written with a, a silver pen before, maybe I just sound like a loony bin. I don't know, loony loony tune. Loony, yeah. Um, but no. the but it's really nice how it warms up. It it really. It's almost like it's alive. It's yes. Yeah. It's character. It's a, it's yeah, a, it's like writing, and then you're, cool you know you're writing with a really special pen. I mean, you are. It is a really nice pen. And it's so lovely. I really, really enjoy that about this pen, apart from the fact that it's really comfortable and it was super nice. That is a feeling that you don't get with a lot of pens, yeah. and that I very much enjoy about this pen. I agree. So those are things I love about the pen. Well, I very What do much... you love? <laughs> hmm, I love sorry. I love the size of the pen. I love the weight. It makes a really nicely balanced pen. You can really you can actually feel the weight of the silver. That's right. Uh, the nib is superb. Really flows well. Um, I love writing with this pen. I love. I, I, I see what you mean by just holding it. it. It gives you a very satisfied feeling to, to hold it because it's so heavy. It You're feels actually right. holding something. Yeah, there. it just feels good. Very substantial. It's like when you get your hair massaged when you or your head massaged when you're getting a haircut. Yeah, it's very uh, it's very pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you hate about it? Well, why don't you go first? Well, the one thing I'll say is it's a cartridge converter. Womp, to a pen. Now, in all honesty, it's a nice converter. It even has a little metal grip section on there which I've never seen it. before uh, but a converter is a converter holds a decent amount of ink um, it's not a very small one of course you can't really eye drop with this pen <laughs> you cannot eye drop well, well it's over. I don't know anyway I don't know I don't know if that would uh, affect your ink no neither do I actually anyway well we'll think about that in our next chemistry class um, but in any case I think it's 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 wonderful and what I will say is probably the one thing, because even the converter, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, the one thing I will say that is maybe a little unattractive about it is the price. I think it goes for five hundred fifty dollars. It's a British brand, so you find a lot of prices in pounds. But I think Fountain Hospital sells them for about five fifty, depending on the finish. There's also a barley finish. I think there's a completely, I think there's a completely clean finish, so that's completely a smooth. Lower, right? Yeah, and those are a bit cheap, but this is the most expensive. Okay, finish. what do I hate? Well, I don't really hate anything, but uh, it is a yes, it is a converter, which is not the most thrilling, but it it doesn't really waste a lot of space in the barrel. True. Um, and I can't really. It's hard to say what other filler it could be, but yeah, I mean the only thing I yeah. Indeed, because with the silver, I don't even know if you could have a piston and have, have the ink and silver. Well, I assume if the silver would tarnish, it would do something to the ink. I don't yeah, know. I'm not a I agree. chemist or this, anything. This maybe maybe a chemist out there could chime in and let us know. Yeah, Justin, we're looking at you. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry. Um, and, yes, it is 550 A lot of money. Uh, it is a lot of money. But, but it's silver. It's sterling. Si all of it is sterling silver. So yeah. Well, are... we we'll, we'll get to that though. Would you? That's next. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll shut up. Um. Is there anything I hate about it? Well, there's really not. I. I. Oh, the whole body is silver, and there are little grooves in it from the design. Now, eventually, silver tarnishes, and it will need polishing. And I'm kind of. You get of, a polishing cloth. You do get a polishing cloth, but I'm kind of lazy, and I'm like, oh, I gotta clean it. So, 
Um, I'm not sure. I haven't cleaned it personally, but I really don't know how excited I'd be to actually have to polish this pen and its details because there are a lot of detail on the pen. There is a lot of detail on the pen. I'm, I'm a native English speaker. Anyway, um, I think that would be the only thing that would that deters me a bit because there's there's three rings at the top here. There's three here. You'd have to really get in there and clean. Then again, if that bothers you, you can always buy the body finish. Yes. Or, or again, I'm not really sure if there is a smooth finish. I think. Well, no, is. the body finish still does have a. Has the body. Ha, yeah. Yeah. But this is certainly more. De there's detail. So. If there is a smooth finish, then this is what it would look like because they left a little bit. Uh, open up to have it engraved, it so, so that's, not that's what I would. No, I would not buy it. If I were to, again, this was an extremely nice gift, but were I to buy it, I would I would buy it, even if it's the most expensive. Anyway, um, would you buy it? Again, I was in the very fortunate circumstances to be gifted this really nice pen, but I would buy it. I would, I, when I was in London, I was sorely tempted by it. The thing is, I was relatively early on in my pen collecting, and I thought, well, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's this oh, is a very slippery it's, slope. It's scary how you, your you, standards you say, change. I'm never going to spend 100 euros on a pen until you do, and then, well, I'm never going to spend 200. And, and, then, and then someone finds the girl pen. Yeah, the exactly. Thing. So in any case, although it's very expensive, oh, I personally think it's worth it. What about you? Um, when I first saw it, like before I used it and everything, I would have said no, I wouldn't buy it based on the price, which is 550 US approximately, 495 pounds or something. Yeah, I give it a um, But after actually using it and holding it and feeling that, like you said, that live feeling of, of the silver warming up in your hand and using a warmed pen, and it's such a unique pleasant feeling I would definitely buy it now god I wish they made a double broad nib but it's well I think it's a number six nib so it's entirely possible you can you can put a uh, anyway no that's just speculating you can put a Conrad nib on it <laughs> anyway um I I would buy it now Good. even though yeah it is expensive Good for you I it is expensive, but I enjoy this pen so much. And like you said, again, that live feeling, oh, it's so wonderful. It's very interesting. So. So the question is. It comes is it, down to this. Or is it not? Dr. Brown. Not yet. Soon. Sidious Nibbage. My answer is. Zip. Ah. Yes. It's definitely, yeah. It is serious nibbage, and if you don't think so, well, uh, your then mouth that's may right. vary. That's your right. But I but think you're it's wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. I think it's a lovely pen. Yeah. And I it's so. I you know I'm really glad I've had the opportunity to use it because it's not so, something I would have thought of buying myself or even ever trying for myself. I think a lot of people may think, well, silver, it's so gaudy, it's so in your face, completely silver, but. If you ever get a chance to try one out, there are quite a couple of stores who actually uh, stock yard Um I would definitely give it a shot because I think you, first of all, the weight is going to hit you in the face. But it's not top heavy. It's no, not it's not that you can't use front it. Front heavy. It's a lovely balance. It's, perfect. it's so nice. It, yeah. it feels really good in hand. Anyway, so yes. Serious damage. Whee! Okay. Whee! <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, all that's to it. So, if you want to see another pen covered in serious nibbage, leave a comment below, and we will read it, and we'll see what we can do. And if you like us, click this button. Yeah, click the like button. And if you don't like us, go away and eat some crap salad. That's what Lord Windermere would say. Mm, yeah, yeah, wise words from the lobster. I know. We will gladly see you later. We hope this was useful. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Today, tomorrow, every day is a nibbage day. Nah. No, speak in your normal speaking voice. Yes. This is or is not serious nibbage. Wait, is this or is this not? We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.
Talaga. 